Hello and welcome to another One Funnel Away Challenge summary video. Today we are at week three, mission four, your sales page and order form. And this is actually really, really important. So pay close attention to what I'm going to share with you. Within the OFA challenge, you are now building in this week, you're actually building your funnel and it's crucial that you get it right now. In the first week, I pointed out over and over again that you need to be very specific about who you want to sell to because this will affect your sales copy and everything else. And now is the time where you're actually going to integrate your sales copy into your funnel. Now, the OFA funnel that you got shared with you and that you, if you don't have it yet, check out yesterday's video. Uh, I'm going to put a card up here and there you find a link to get the chair funnel. And um, that OFA funnel actually consists of a sales page and an order form separately. You could, however, if you want, combine that onto one page. In that case, it would need to be an order form page. It has its ups and downs. The upside obviously is you will have like slightly higher conversions because people don't have to click or, you know, there cannot be like people that get annoyed by page loading times and stuff like that because the order form will be on the same page. The downside, however, is the tracking because um, if you do retargeting ads, for example, and you see somebody saw your sales page, but they left and then you see somebody saw your sales page, went to your order page and then they left. Well, you know that you, when you retarget those people that saw your order page, your conversions will be higher because they already were more interested. They already were looking, okay, now how much does it actually cost? How can I sign up? Maybe the reason why they left is because they didn't want to pay with credit card and you didn't offer PayPal, for example. Um, but yeah, the OFA funnel is split up in two different pages. Now with your sales copy, I think there is no such thing as a too long sales page. Yeah, it cannot be too long. It can only be too short. Um, what you can do is you can use services like smart look that create heat maps like show you exactly how many per, uh, how many percent of people scroll how far on your page so you know where most people drop off and where you maybe need to refine your sales copy like improve it in terms of um to to deal with more objections now the purpose of the sales page of course is to point out like the problem the solution then you stretch the gap and you sell the bridge between like you basically show them you overcome their ob objections. Yes, they can do it as well. Yes, it's not that expensive. It should be worth that money and whatever other expectation, whatever, uh, it, uh, yeah, whatever other opinion or false belief people might have, you try to crush it till you get down to your offer stack and eventually your money back guarantee to, to basically reverse the risk. So it's not their risk that they buy and maybe they don't like it, but suddenly it's risk-free because they can buy and if they don't like it, they can give it back, yeah. And that's pretty much what you wanna do. Like you wanna make sure you have long sales copy and you wanna think about it. Does it make sense in that order? Uh, you wanna be very specific who you're talking to, like what pain points do those people have? That's again important. You need to know who you're going to sell to. And again, if you try, or if you know your product can be sold to 20 year old single males and also to 50 year old married females, um, then create two sales pages and uh, clone your, your opt-in page and have ads or traffic sources run depending on your targeting to those separate sales pages. Now, in terms of your order page or order form, it's going to be quite simple. There's going to be the information they can enter and then there's going to be maybe a graphic showing your, your offer assets again and what they get. And then maybe one or two reviews if you already have them social proof that, that like tells them it's okay if you buy because other, others bought as well and considered it great. And that's pretty much it. Now, some things here to consider. First of all, avoid the word buy and but use something like order or sign up instead because buying usually means I have to pay something whereas order means I receive something yeah so that's a huge difference on all your pages I know the re the default uh, OFA share funnel says like I'm ready to buy now if you keep that button change it to I'm ready to order now now or I want to sign up now or stuff like that um you don't want to have those small words like make the difference between conversion and non-conversion yeah and other than that pay attention to your pricing this is your low end funnel actually you should have already paid attention when you created the offer yeah um so you want to probably have an offer that's below 50 dollar and um, an order bump that's again below that yeah 
Uh, it could be more. Um, you could have theoretically have a seven or seventeen dollar offer and a thirty or forty seven dollar order bump that would also work. And your upsells should also be somewhere in relations. If you sell a seven dollar product, you hardly will sell a seven hundred dollar course as an upsell. So so. Um, like, of course, it depends on what you're offering, how valuable it is, and what kind of traffic you're driving to your funnel. But I recommend to keep your upsell in that case, like uh, around between 97 and $197. And yeah, your downsells could be installment plans on that. Now you can do all of that within ClickFunnels using Stripe. Again, there you can check out the tutorial playlist that helps you set up your account if you haven't done it yet. And but you can also, what I actually recommend is to use Pay Kickstart. You can find a link to Pay Kickstart down below. I haven't done any tutorials yet about Pay Kickstart, um, but it actually is quite straightforward. It pretty much replaces your order page, but it saves you a lot of time because if you were to sell, for example, subscription products, you don't have to create them within Stripe and ClickFunnels. And there's a bunch of other reasons why Pay Kickstart is the better choice, but it only makes sense if you're convinced that you're going to stick with ClickFunnels because it also comes as an, at another $99 per month but once you know that your funnel or you're going to stick you're you're serious you commit to click funnels then actually my recommendation is to have pay kickstart as your payment processor you can thank me later once you figured out how amazing they are now that's pretty much it for today if you need any help if you're stuck somewhere with the page creation or whatever it is uh, use the comments down below use our OFA group chat if you're lucky enough to be a member there and use our Facebook group if you're lucky enough to be a member there and yeah like that's pretty much it you're very close to finishing your funnel and um, yeah next week it's going to be about how to drive traffic there which is going to be the most crucial element because you can have the best funnel in the world if you don't know how to get people there for a reasonable cost or even for free well then it doesn't help you yeah um, so yeah, make sure you do your best this week with creating your funnel and yeah, see you tomorrow with another episode. Actually, I think it's the last one in this, this week. No, it's not the last one in this week about your upsell page where I actually have some really interesting things for you to sh or to share with you, which you probably or most likely don't know about yet. So uh, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Till then. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. If it provided you with any value whatsoever, don't forget to like it by hitting that thumbs up button down below and also to ensure you don't miss out any future content go ahead right now and click on the subscribe button down below now last but not least the only thing left for you to do is actually pick which of the following two videos you want to see next and i'll see you there